today on the way to show you how to use your Dell webcam on your Dell XPS M1730. Go down here real quick. Open this. I'm going to launch the console. Let that load. And we're going to remove the audio effect from my voice. No, there we go. Sounds better, doesn't it? Let's get down to business. Go back down here into your tray icons. Double click Dell Webcam Manager. And right click Open. You want to click Webcam Center. This is how you access the webcam. And it'll activate it. If that is not in your tray icon down there, or your tray, close that. Go to Start. I already have Dell Webcam Center there because I clicked it, but click All Programs. You want to scroll to Dell Webcam Folder. Click it, open it, and click Dell Webcam Center. This comes default installed on your computer. The camera is initialized, and the blue light comes out on the top of your laptop screen. Right now, we're in the first tab, Video Recording. We have the video resolution down here. You don't want to change the resolution pretty much. Leave it 640 by 480. If you go to 1600 by 1200 or anything you know big, quadruple digits, then you're going to be pushing your frames per second really low. Right now, we're getting about six to seven frames. Just leave it as is. You can lower the resolution, but then you're going to have a tiny picture with high frames, and it's going to, you know, not be worth it. You can set a self timer. Say we set it to three seconds, and as soon as you push record, we're going to start recording in three seconds. And let's see. It'll load. Now I'm recording. That was pretty much longer than three seconds, as you've seen. That wasn't lag for my computer. It was just lag for the program itself, and that's the way it's programmed. It's nothing to do with the hardware of the laptop. Click stop. That was a 13 second video clip. It'll be saved up here in my recordings. We'll go there very last. I'm going to put the self timer back to off. I want it to record instantly. Audio source we have the Sigmatel high definition audio codec, and that's pretty good one. We have high definition speakers. Pretty sweet. Now, if you have different speakers installed, you can go to audio source control, you know, set up your audio. It might be in their default, but click the drop down arrow. I only have one set of speakers installed that are the default that came with the laptop. To get to advanced settings, click tools and go to settings. You can change the file format, AVI or WMV. AVI is pretty good, I like it. I don't have any compression. I used the MPEG-4 video codec version 1 before, and it didn't change the video quality of my video at all. Audio compression. I use PCM. That actually lowered the quality of my video, so I just leave it at no compression. It's high definition anyways, because the codec we have, Sigmatel. You can limit each video clip to whatever you want, 30 seconds, whatever you want, so you don't waste the uh, hard space on your computer by accident. I'm going to click Cancel, and go to the next tab, Photo Capture. Same thing as video, except it will take a picture. You have resolution settings down here, the highest out of any tab, which is 3200 by 2400. You have Cell Timer, and Burst Rate. Let's do a burst. Three photos, self timers off, so you click capture. You heard it. Three pictures as soon as I click that. Tools, settings, and here are the file formats bitmap and JPEG. I'm gonna leave it on JPEG, I like that. Higher quality, I want that. You know, it's only 1.3 megapixels, it's not super high quality, so it's not gonna use a larger file size, my but it's not gonna be that big. You can add a date timestamp and a timestamp to the photo, and you can position it where you want. I don't want those in there. These are the options. I'm gonna click cancel. Motion detection. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, you can set up surveillance. Anybody that's walking around in front of your laptop and doing whatever, it'd be pretty sweet. But the bad thing is, you're going to have this program up right here, so they're going to see themselves. So it's not like you're going to be using this for high tech, super crazy audio and video footage of people doing crazy things. But if you can position this somewhere and get just the webcam up here showing, then you can record whatever you want. I'm not into that kind of stuff, so you can figure it out. Leave the resolution at 640 by 480. It'll be way too laggy if you mess it up. Self timer off. No. Self timer 10 seconds. You know why? As soon as you push start, look, you got 10 seconds to get away. Within 10 seconds, when it's up, the motion detection will be activated. Any movement on the screen will be activating the recording. Audio source, default microphone. Yeah. Tools, settings. General, you can stop the motion detection whenever you want. Say you click start, it will have motion detection active for 30 seconds. So you're away for work, right? You'll be gone for 8 hours. So you click start, you come back in 8 hours and 30 seconds later, it'll be done. And then you can cancel out of here real quick. View log information and it'll show you. It'll have the date, time the video started, time the video ended. When motion detection was detected and activated. Back to settings. Email. You can set up your email. It'll push it. 
you have to have your outgoing settings such as this right here if you have free yahoo mail sorry this will not work for you you have to have premium mail for this program to push it to your program let's click verify email test email sent if it doesn't say that it'll give you an error message so you have your settings from this is from newfireorange at dellm1730.com which is my login information right here so it's from me so i'm going to put it into the from two i'm going to send it to myself because i want to log into my email and see if my motion detector picked it up if you wanted to send it to anybody else you can type in their email address or put a semicolon and then type in their email address you can put multiple email addresses in here my subject motion detected and the contents of the message pictures attached and they will be attached there and you can download them to your computer here's the advance for the port, I just leave it at 25, that's what they mostly use detection I have the threshold set really high let me move, well, let me move this up black sensitivity, let's move this back motion detection threshold this is as high as it goes in this common sense what it is is depending on how active or rapid the movement is on the screen you can break the threshold and when you do motion detection will start recording and it will send it to your email if you have that set I want to move this back down. But this is good for, say you have, like behind me I have a laundry chute. Yeah, I know, basement. So if a sack falls, and I don't want that to pick up on the motion detection, I'll set the threshold, you know, say right here. Sack isn't going to go above that, but a human will. I just barely move right there and it went up, so I might want to move this up. Not all the way up there. This was the default right there. So you can record human movement, or whatever you want. You can tweak and fine tune it, so I'm just going to put this right back here. I want to cancel out of here and remote monitoring. We're going to click this tab. Resolution options and self timer. Settings. General. So here's what you're going to want to do. You're going to click self timer, click start, move away from your computer, and I have it set to every seven seconds is going to take a picture and I have it set to upload to my website folder. It won't put it online unless you have it set up that way but I have it set up to go into my directory on my server online so my folder is slash uploads I'll type in all my FTP settings and then I'll go into my slash uploads folder I'll go on there you have to have your login information to get on there too and your host name or if you have a web design on a computer you have front page or whatever and you have HTML file you can save it directly to that click the preview button it's pretty cool these are some of the predefined settings that are already in there I didn't type that in this is what it'll look like on your web page. As soon as it loads up. If it loads up. See these lines right here in the preview? It's a white line. I don't know if your computer has that too, but mine does. I don't know if mine always had that and it's a programming error. Or because I'm recording at the same time, I have no clue. Preview doesn't seem to be preview doesn't seem to be working. It worked. Click it on your computer, you'll see it's pretty cool. I'm gonna go to time lapse video. I'm gonna go to tools real quick and settings here is what is going to happen you click record right you have the resolution set self timer off I don't want it on click start with the self timer off as soon as you click start boom it's going to take a picture then within 15 seconds since I have it as 15 seconds it'll take another picture then after another 15 seconds it'll take another picture and this will be in video format and no it will not compress every picture it's even though it's in video format it's in it's an AVI format or WMV whatever you have it set to they will be separate files, so you have to use a program like Windows Movie Maker and combine them all. It's pretty much a slideshow. When would you use this? Say you're donating your hair to Locks of Love. You have super long hair, weighs like 50 pounds after you get out of the shower. Click record as soon as you start. Boom, you got a picture of your hair. 15 seconds later, you got a picture of you with a big chunk taken off. You can change the settings. It have to be 15 seconds. You can stop the video automatically whenever you want, say 8 hours. Or not. I don't want to. I'll stop it manually by clicking down here. I'm going to go back here and put this back to zero then uncheck it you can add a timestamp and a date stamp I don't want those in there and the maximum frames you can take for this is 30 you can go lower and keep it at 30 I'm gonna click cancel for now and here's where you will find your recordings click my recordings let that load for a second you're gonna to want to go down here to the month view I have it in year and it is April 2009 click that I have three pictures and one video let's click the video click on it with the mouse once and then push enter on your keyboard now I'm recording. That was pretty much longer than two. That was the video right there. I'm going to go back here. If I want to delete it, highlight them all. Let's view a picture real quick. Click it. Push it around the keyboard. There's a photo. Back here. 
Highlight all these. You want to get rid of them? Highlight them all, then push delete on your keyboard. And they are deleted. I hope this tutorial helped you out.